The end portal is one of the most iconic things in the game, but ever since it was added there's been zero changes. So I'm gonna do Mojang's job for them and build an end portal out of the rarest blocks in the game. And the first block on our list only has a 0.164% chance of spawning, which is this guy right here. And that's the first out of the 12 blocks we need to collect. As the video goes on the blocks are going to get more and more rare starting with the easiest in phase 1, working our way up to blocks that should be impossible to obtain in phase 3. The next blocks on the list are Mycelium and Deep Slate Emerald Ore. Mycelium being pretty easy to collect, and Deep Slate Emerald Ore being much harder to find as you can see from this graph. Finally! Okay, that's phase 1 of 3 complete. First, I want to collect a beacon, so let's find a fortress and hopefully I can get some Wither Skulls. That's one, that's two, and there's the third one. Now let's head to the end and spawn in the Wither. And now we have another star, so let's craft the beacon. And that's another block completed. The next block I want to get is the Skulk Catalyst that the Warden drops when it dies. So let's head to an ancient city, get the Warden to spawn in, and... Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. But what if there was a way to beat the Warden without beating it? Wait, but there's no way that's possible. So apparently it is possible. But to do that, I'm going to need around 700 iron. So let's start by finding a village, building this iron farm... And now let's AFK for around 30 minutes. And it looks like we've got all the iron we're gonna need. So let's sneak back into the ancient city, place all the iron down and make some noise. Now that the warden's here, let's quickly spawn in these iron golems and now just sit back, relax and let my bodyguards deal with the rest. With the warden out of the way, let's grab the sculpt catalyst he dropped and head back to the podium. And with that, we've collected five out of the 12 blocks we need. But before we go on to the illegal phase, we need to transfer all of these blocks over to my stronghold. And while we're here, let's use some of these mushrooms I gathered earlier to get rid of the end portal frames. And just like that, we're left with a floating end portal. So let's add the blocks around the edge. And now this already looks pretty cool, but wait until we add the rest of the illegal blocks to it. Starting with a block which has only been obtained a few times before, which is the snowy grass block. So let's head to the 20w14 infinite dimension snapshot. Then if I get a book and write sky grid inside of it, throw it into another portal, it'll take me to a dimension which has every block in Minecraft ever. But now we have to find a snowy grass block. Now that we've found one, let's transfer the chunk over to the one block at a time update using MCA selector. And now I should be able to break it and yes, it worked. But wait, this looks like a normal grass block. Well, if I transfer it back to my normal hardcore world and all of you hit the subscribe button, when I place this down, it should return back to its original state. And now we have a snowy grass block in my hardcore world. Now to be able to collect bedrock later in the video, first we need to jump back to beta 1.9 pre-release 3. And the first thing on the agenda is to get some basic resources. Resources. Okay, with all the basics acquired, I think it's time we go to find the stronghold. And you're probably wondering how I'm gonna do that with no ender eyes. Well, luckily for me, Notch left some pretty obvious hints to where the stronghold is. So if I just follow this glass pillar down, it should lead me straight to the portal room. And if you haven't noticed already, the end portal is looking a bit different. Which is perfect, because in this version, if you set off TNT by the end portal frames, they'll actually drop as an item. So the first thing to collect is some gunpowder. And now let's get some sand. And finally, let's grab some flint. Okay, so if I just craft this TNT and we go ahead and light it... Now we have this weird blue block which is actually an end portal frame. Now using some super secret duplication methods, we have unlimited end portal frames. Now before moving to the next version, let's build a quick base of operations. And with that finished, we need to head to beta 1.9 pre-release 4 to get a mob spawner. But I'm gonna need a bunch of XP to get the silk touch pickaxe I need. Which is pretty easy, right? No, no it's not. Because in this version of the game, getting XP is super slow. And getting a level 30 enchantment uses all 30 levels. So I guess I'm gonna have to sit here for a couple hours and just keep killing these silverfish. 
and we should also grab some diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. And seeing as we're going to need this later, let's build a quick duplication machine and duplicate some diamond blocks. And I didn't get it. Bro, there's no way I'm doing that again. Yeah, I, uh, I, I did it again. Please give me silk touch. And we got it. So now let's go to the portal room and break the mob spawner. And it actually dropped. Let's go. Now let's just duplicate it to make sure we don't lose it. And before we go into the next version, I think we should make some preparations. Seeing as the next block I need also requires a lot of XP to get, let's make a giant mob farm using some of the spawner blocks we just duplicated. And boom, this should work. The next block we need to obtain is an enchanted diamond block. So let's go on a quick killing spree with the farm I just built. And now let's enchant a book with efficiency 3. Then put the diamond block and the enchanted book into an anvil and just like that we have an enchanted diamond block. Now if you're wondering if the enchantment actually works then just take a look at how fast I can break this door. Next on the list is literally the hardest block in the game, Bedrock. I mean Bedrock. So to get it, we first need to take a trip to 15W47C. Now let's go to the nether and find a fortress to get some blaze rods and some gas tiers. And with all that gathered, it's time to head into the end. So let's just build the portal and hop in. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we also need to kill the dragon before we can get to the bedrock. Okay, with that out of the way, now if I craft some end crystals and place down five around the bedrock portal, then when I blow it up, just before the dragon spawns back in, and nothing happens. Well, something does happen, but to get the bedrock, we first need to head back to the overworld and find the world spawn. And there it is. Now, to get all the illegal blocks I just gathered back to my main world, we're gonna need to head into the nether and leave a chest with all the items inside. Also, I didn't take any of the duplicated items like the diamond blocks because that would be cheating. So with all the items in the chest, let's go ahead and transfer it through to my hardcore world. And there it is. So let's go and place all these down. And with that complete, there's only three blocks left to collect. But these blocks are so rare that literally only one person has got them before. And to start, let's get the command block. So let's go back to the infinite dimensions update. And before we get the first block, we need to grab some resources for a machine which is gonna allow us to pick up the unobtainable blocks. First, we need some slabs and a button so let's just get some wood and finally we need a dispenser which requires cobblestone redstone and a bow with the command block prepped with the machine let's also find a structure block while we're here and build the same thing again now i need to transfer this chunk to the one block at a time snapshot and then if i press this button i should be able to pick up both the blocks now all i need to do is throw the blocks on my head and transfer myself back through to my hardcore world With those two blocks out of the way, it's time to obtain the final block of this video, which is the barrier block. So first let's jump to 20W16A and locate a bastion. Now in one of these lava pools there's meant to be a barrier block. I have no idea why. Okay, I found it. So now let's just build the same machine for a third time and now move over the world to the one block at a time update. And boom, that's a barrier block. So now if I throw the barrier block on my head, transfer myself over to my hardcore world, I should have it in my inventory. Now let's place it down and boom, that's Minecraft's most illegal end portal. Now subscribe and watch this next.